This is the Maritime Museum Rotterdam. It was designed in 1986 by Winquist. The museum consists out of a composition of three main volumes, a larger triangular shape and two cubes. This cube is the selected fragment. It stretches over two levels and is an important part of the exhibition space. The Maritime Museum accommodates multiple exhibitions at the same time. Only one is permanent, the others are temporary, with a duration varying from half year up to four years. Inside the building you will find a closed atmosphere and predominantly dark exhibition spaces. These spaces are formed by closed brick facades. This does not facilitate a flexible program. Problems were visible with the load-bearing structure. The concrete construction goes from the inside of the building to the outside space, which causes heat loss and possible problems with moisture. The existing climate system consists out of mechanical ventilation and heating. Radiators are positioned below the windows to compensate for heat loss. This points to poor insulation. Being a maritime museum, a connection to the harbor is desirable. But although outside space is an important part of the museum, there is no visible connection due to the closed facades. This led to our research question. How can an adaptable internal climate be designed that fits the changing exhibition program of the Maritime Museum? The research was split up in two domains, sunlight and ventilation. Both domains play a significant role for a museum. Objects in the museum are often very fragile and can break or permanently change appearance under the influence of light and air quality. For flexibility in ventilation, a technique that best fits your needs can be found in combining natural ventilation and mechanical ventilation. A complementary design is advised. Natural ventilation is driven by two different forces, wind-driven and thermal buoyancy. These two can be combined to ensure a more stable system. There is a wide variety of elements to choose from to achieve natural ventilation, such as standard cross ventilation, a wind tower, an atrium, or a solar chimney. These are just a few elements which are available. Each exposition has its own demands. Whereas one exposition can rely on daylight and mechanical ventilation, the other may need heavy sun shading and natural ventilation. This flexibility can be achieved by applying various techniques for solar shading and natural ventilation. For flexibility in solar shading, separate building elements can be moved to allow light in or just a small element can be changed to let light in or block it at a smaller scale. The Maritime Museum. Carline, Hiel, Natsuki, Hope.